receive strength for the family of Daddy and Mommy Adeboe. Lift up your voice and pray for them. We receive strength for them, O oh Lord. And Lord, you will comfort them at this time. You will strengthen them, O oh Lord. Beyond the comfort of men, O oh Lord. You will comfort them and take away the grief in their lives. Because of the incident in the family of Daddy Adepoe, it will not lead to any negative after effect in the body of Christ. Oh, we pray for strength, O oh Lord. And we trust in your wisdom, Lord. We lift up that they are boys. We lift up all the siblings, all the children. We lift up Pastor Darius' wife. Lord, strength from above. Strength from above. Come on, pray, pray, intercede for them right now. Lenda Rashua Giza. Melando Zinacrindo Shiparate. Ombredendo Shakarine Ozia Cassiti. Strength. Strength. Melada Dosi Canone Shiala Bade. We pray for strength. We pray for strength for them. Mandala by your candles here. We lift them up. We lift them up, O oh Lord. We lift up Daddy and the boy. We lift up the family. We receive strength for them. Strength, strength. And the Lord of 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 Eda la padige de bozana mantele parade de 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 de. Embra de 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 mo shala parade de de bozi. Embra de 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 mo ketande la balish. Embra de 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 bozala manana de 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 mo shala parade de de. Ela parade siya. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lift your hands and worship God. Bless His holy name. What a good God we serve. Oh, Jesus. We worship. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We bless you. We bless you. Marabaya katata Emarando Nento Galabareta Licrinedosia Embra de 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 Bosha Malabadida Embra Neno Sakita Egalesia. Come on, somebody worship him. Bless his holy name tonight. What a good God we serve. Membra de de Mosa Elababa Ekatetirante. We wash, we wash. Oh Jesus, we bless your name. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Amen. Father, we thank you tonight. We give you all the praise. Thank you for your word that never fails. Thank you for your love that is unfailing. Thank you for your benevolence that is everlasting. 
Lord, as we go into your presence tonight, we are already in your presence. We ask for your counsel amongst us tonight and for this meeting to stand in the name of Jesus. We pray for utterance and we ask that you help us to hear and understand in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name and everybody say amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. You can be seated. Thank you. Amen and amen. I want to speak to us tonight by the help of the Holy Spirit. By the help of the Holy Spirit, uh, concerning something I believe we need to pay attention to. And this has to do with the mercy of God. Nigeria at this time needs the mercies of God. We need the intervention of God. We need God in our midst. We need God in our nation like never before. Everything is escalating at a dangerous level. But the mercies of God, you see, in the mercies of God, there's preservation and there's protection. Our prayers should go beyond praying for yourself, what you're going to eat, your next financial breakthrough, uh, this and that. You should go beyond that right now. As a believer, you're supposed to step into intercessory mode. Because our nation is that right now. Are you following me? Rather than scheme and plot on a way to escape out of the country, it's time to intercede for this nation. You can travel and it's cool and it's okay, but will that be something that God has for you in his plans? Is somebody here with me? I wish I can travel as well, but I know it's not God's plan for me right now. And it's not just because I'm a pastor. Wherever you find yourself, before you eat that nation, before you move to the United States, before you move to Australia, before you move to Canada, wherever you want to go, Germany, take some time to ask of the Lord, is this your plan for my life? It's important. If it is God's plan for your life, everything will be so easy so smooth however we also let you know everything can look so easy and so smooth and yet it's not god's plan for your life it was not every open door is meant for you so it's important because now the decision you will make will not just affect you if you're a young lady you eventually get married probably there if you travel so it means it affects marriage home children and a whole lot of other things. So it's important you take some time to seek the face of God. Are you following me? So it's a selfish way to be thinking of escaping because the nation is like this. We need people who are going to intercede. God said, I sought for a man who will stand in the gap. God is looking for people at such times. And it is only the Christ of the saints unto the Lord that can avert the imminent war. That is upon the nation right now. And believe you me, trust me, everybody crying for secession, agitation, for war and all of that. You don't have an idea what a war looks like. No nation survives civil war twice. None. None. We declare over Nigeria, the council of God we stand. That amen is paralyzed. People who are seemingly at the helms of affair, but they are evil perpetrators, causing confusion. God will expose them. God will remove the carpets of their feet. 
their money will fail them in the name of Jesus. Such people believe once there is money we can do and undo. There are people sponsoring all those people. Where did they get money from? Expensive. Oh God. God will cause his angels to pursue everybody terrorizing this country. In the name of Jesus. You have to intercede. You have to rise up. They have to rise up. It used to be north. Now it's in the south. Are you following me? Are you following me? God's counsel will stand over this nation. Every enemy of this nation, God will frustrate them. He said he frustrates the tokens of liars and their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He said there will not be any enchantment or divination against Israel. Are you following me? Pray the Holy Ghost where you are seated right there. Pray the Holy Ghost over Nigeria. Pray. Legazo Sabranintaya. Lofraninda Shekate Gazina Zeza. Pray over Nigeria. La Bareza Nekatete. That God will have mercy upon this nation. Mercy, 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 mercy. Over this nation, Namanana na no si, egalabo sharabade ade, lembara no kekosia, linange suzi mareta. Mercy Lord, mercy over Nigeria. Lira mane no nesa, gera ne shalabarake. Mercy Lord, mercy Lord, mercy Lord. Mercy over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Mercy over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Le Grinendo Shabarante. Mentagaro Shalabarante. Ela Mamanene Mo Sanana Nene Nanene Sa. Yelelelebo shama mama nandeleleza Ranene mokondo si ala manene nemosia Lena nana mandodo de bosha Relelelelelele de bosia Lamba ranene nene nene nemosia Alingedo si anene nene si anene nene si Ala baba 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 Ere bala 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 ere de 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 Rande de 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 mosa Ara ba 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 Ere de 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 mosa Rande gosha Ara ba ga de 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 sa Ara ba ye de 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 mosa Ilambarende shandi la barota Egrede de Bosha Ela marane ne 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 Bosha Rele de 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 Bosha Ila marala da 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 Hey hey manena manena Irale de Bosha Embra de 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 Bosha la ba de 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 Bosha Rane de 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 Moshe. Ele prende gade de 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 Moshe. Aramane ne ne Moshe ne 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 Moshe. Rageda de 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 Moshe la balaba. Mento gali badesha, rane ne 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 mo shala ba 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 ba. 
Era bade de 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 bossa. Rande de 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 bossa la pa 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 pa. Menda de 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 bossia. Rande de 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 bossa ka ta ta ta. Re de 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 sa. In Jesus name we pray. Give me Amos chapter 9, chapter 5, verse 24. Amos chapter 5 and verse 24. We take one more prayer. Oh, glory, 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 glory to God. Amos chapter 5 and verse 24. But let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream that the people who are sitting on this nation as it were evil people wicked people that god will cause judgment to run down as waters but that's not the only thing but that righteousness right living a people committed unto god a people who will fear the lord from the bottom of their heart that righteousness will also rush down upon this nation as a mighty stream lift up your voice and begin to pray over this nation lord every enemy of nigeria Nela baya kozi na zezazi. Let's write a geboshia. Let judgment run down as waters. Righteousness as mighty streams. In the name of Jesus. Landezi karu shate barati. The Lord will have mercy upon Nigeria. Ne 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 Musa. Mercy over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Mercy. Let judgment run down as waters. Righteousness as mighty streams over this nation frustrate every enemy of this country every blood soccer over this nation let your angels pursue them in terror la barone kokaya e prene sozaneza likori balaba the camp of ritualists, the camp of your gods, we release the judgment of God over them in the name of Jesus. Ligasamazo sezaza. Ilabo shabara na 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 na. Ila yagamando zine kemo kade. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Ah, God will have mercy upon this nation. Legaruz in Andish. Embronesa de Nanina de Nanida. Aha, Menkato, Menkate. Mercy over this Nigeria. Mercy over this country. Likarish, Likarish. Lebaro. 
chapter 31 please quickly and verse 31 arana kashika zokinke rute neni nakunda libarushia na nene nene na malagadesu sia na badida kukurandesia people of god i must tell you something the times and the season we are in you cannot afford to be a gentle nominal fair weather christian if the weather is fair I'll go if the weather is not fair I'll stay in my home you can't if you do it will be to your detriment things are changing rapidly things are being redefined these are the days that they talked about when say, the kingdom of God suffer violence and the violent take it by force. You must take your Christian life from where it is right now to a covenant relationship level with God. You see, because you are in a covenant with God, I can't let a day pass without going into the world. A covenant is ratified by oath. And when two people get into covenant, they begin to say things like, if I ever rebel or if I ever go against you, let me die. Let everything I, I have, let, let me lose them. They, they will ratify it by an oath. Are you following me here? I mean, when God caught a covenant with Abraham, by reason of the death of the Lord Jesus Christ, because you see, Abraham gave his only son Isaac to God, and then God gave his only son Jesus to us. So we entered into the same covenant by faith. So you and God, you are in a covenant. But if you don't operate by the code of the covenant, you're going to lose out. You're going to lose out. We didn't get to this kingdom drinking Fanta, drinking Coke, playing around, swimming in the swimming pool, jumping around and playing music. Jesus went on the cross for you and I shed all of his blood was beaten with stripes crown of thorns upon his head spat upon went through intense agony so much so that just thinking about it led to a medical condition that rather than for sweat to come out of his body was blood it's a covenant people and when you understand covenant you sit right 
it is when you don't understand covenant you behave stupidly do whatever you want to do live your life carelessly live your life as if you have no accountability to anybody know that doing this is wrong and you went ahead and did it it's because you lack covenant sense not that you are not born again no you are born again you are a child of god but when you lack you see covenant is a commitment i can't do what i feel like doing every time by reason of covenant because i would displease god so i i discipline myself and put my body on the, there are certain things i just won't do not because i don't feel like because of covenant i can't offend him no no if your christian life yeah is what your says jelenke by convenience i go to church when i feel like you don't know what we are talking about and guess what the happenings in this time and this season is upon us in this country you will pray by force some of you still don't understand what's going on right you really don't you really don't that even officials of the federal government of nigeria soldiers are kidnapped soldiers kidnapped ransom collected you don't have an idea so it's not time to sit down in, the, in your room and be eating beans and bread <laughs> are you following me here you must wake up with a covenant sense you must start thinking beyond what you will eat what you will spend and start thinking purpose is somebody with me here so the bible says here in jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 he said behold the days come said the lord i will make a new covenant with the house of israel and with the house of judah give me a little bit volume of these monitors i'm stressing my voice please he says not according to the covenant i made with their fathers in the day that i took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of egypt which my covenant they break although i was an husband to them said the lord he said but this shall be the covenant i will make with the house of israel after those days said the lord i will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts i will be their god and they shall what they shall be my people you see what god said there he's telling you how he's going to achieve this covenant arrangement the word has to be in your heart not in your head you see why you can't jot inside phone in church and you see why we, we do test on sunday it has to find its way into your heart the covenant arrangement is ineffective until the word gets into your heart it's not that I'm, I'm born again then you put it on your status born again so what i will be their god it means god can never allow you to go into shame never i will be their god i will stand them for them i will rise on their behalf i will ensure they do not they, they are not ashamed that's what it means i will be their god and they will be my people are you with me here that's what covenant is all about there's a sense of ownership can god look at you and say you are my son you are my daughter can you look at god and say god i am your son and i'm your daughter you see on the platform of covenant you don't need to ask too many things in prayer and be begging god for nothing because covenant 
arrangement specifies that what belongs to me belongs to you and what belongs to you belongs to me I start be begging God, oh God, please, I need 5K. I no, I need, I need this uh, 5 billion. Oh God, please, please. No. By reason of covenant, it's yours. I will be their God. I will be their God. You know what it means? God will fight for you. You, you won't have to call on God and then he doesn't show up. No, that's when scriptures like, before you call, I will answer. That's when it becomes real. It's in the covenant arrangement. When there's no covenant, you can start moving from mountain to mountain every day. Begging God, crying. When there's covenant arrangement, what you have with God is a conversation. Are you following me here? If you've been born again for over a year and you are still involved in some habitual sin, still deceiving yourself, trying to act like the other thing is wrong, hey, you don't love yourself. How are you thinking? It's, it's almost going to become like emotional deficiency. Because you can just think that this thing I'm doing, okay, I know from the scripture it won't pay me, I will end up a loser. So why still doing it? Oh, like Apostle Paul, the things I want to do, I don't find myself doing them, the things I don't want to do, that's what I do. He said, but the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Meaning that because we have the Holy Ghost, I don't have to say the things I want to do, I, I don't do. The things I don't want to do, that's what I do. If you are still saying that, then you are not talk. You don't know the reality of this covenant. The things I want to do, is what I do by the Holy Ghost. The things I don't want to do, I don't do them by the Holy Ghost. That's maturity. That's when you can say, that's when God says, you are my people. You see, God, God's love is too much. And the reason you don't believe them is because you are not experiencing it. But the love is there. If the love is not there, it should be dead by now. You know how much hatred the devil has for you? The devil hates your gods. Can't stand you hates you hates your parents hates everything you do dislikes you doesn't like you if you can cause a terrible accident for you to die now as you speak he will but the mercies of god is keeping you alive by his mercies we are not consumed it's by the mercies of god you think it's your speaking in tongues or you think it's because you are gifted or you can sing you can act you can do this so it's, it's, it's i give this to god and god is giving that to me that's not what it is it's by the mercies by the mercies by the mercies the realm of the spirit over us in the air is filled with principalities and powers demonic powers demons of of hatred demons uh, that that cause uh, genocidal situations terrible wicked spirits that if they have opportunity to kill you now they will not hesitate but they couldn't touch you because of the mercies of god how do you then respond to this mercy by your choice by putting your body under now one boyfriend called you to come and see me and then you pack your load and then you are going really you don't understand what we're talking about here joseph ran away he became prime minister something stayed he died can't you learn from that what is you need oh joseph must have been a good guy you know it's not really a uh, sexual environment like us, you know, is just a cool guy. Maybe you know that. Really? The Bible declares that he left his garments in the hand of Mrs. Spotify. So he was already cooperating. Then he remembered covenant. He said, I can't do this evil unto God. I can't. So he ran. How can I, how can a lady come to you? And then you will leave your shirt inside and you unbutton the shirt now. You are enjoying the show. And then you remember covenants. 
may you remember covenant every time Amen. before you drop God's word like hot potatoes like you don't know him like you don't know Jesus you want to crucify him the second time how shall it be said that you have found where you're not supposed to be found you see my message will also go will always go on this line of bringing admonitions and warnings because the, the call of God upon my life is to awaken to awaken believers so don't mind me if I, if I go this route all the time but that's, that's the grace of God upon my life to so wake people up to so awaken you to a mature Christian are you following me here? covenant come on say covenant that's why you need to step into people of God. If you move into covenant, you will never allow anybody in this life to get into strife. Never. Because you don't want to severe your covenant with God. Because you already said that where there's strife, there's all manner of evil. Are you following me? If you understand covenant, you will pitch yourself against your pastor. Or against the church apostle paul was going about frustrating the church jesus appeared to me and said why are you persecuting me did he persecute jesus he was persecuting the church but jesus guys anything you do to this little one is touching me you think you are dealing with one church member or one person but you are touching jesus that's what he says you don't understand covenant i won't talk to you for the next three weeks you don't understand covenant and your flesh is more important to you than the covenant you have with God. Are you following me here? Fight your wife, fight your husband. You are not talking for weeks. You don't understand covenant. You don't. If you do, if it takes you to prostrate for your spouse or kneel for your husband, you will go ahead. You will not entertain one hour of strife. You run from it. Are you still with me here? Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 40. Jeremiah 32 and verse 40. Aramando shihakata da 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 da. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. What type of covenant? Ever the covenant doesn't end. Everlasting. It was made with Abraham, but it still works for us today. Why? It's everlasting. That I will not turn away from them. That's God speaking to you. There's a covenant of permanent residence of divinity with you are you following me if anything happens it's you that walk the way not god it's you that walk the way with your attitude with your character defects with your flesh with your indiscipline attitude god said i won't turn away if god turns away from you you are dead under one second you are gone believe you me God turned away from Jesus when he was on the cross so that he wouldn't have to turn away from you. It was the first time that there would be a separation between the Father and the Son. And Jesus Christ said, Why have you forsaken me? Jesus has never experienced that in all of eternity for the Father to look at him and turn his back on him. But because he could not behold sin, our sins he looked at a son that he loved so much and did what turned away from him and the pain the agony of the separation was so much upon jesus despite understanding what is going on he still said why do you have to turn away from me I've been bearing it all, all the time. I've been to the cross. I've been beaten. I've been nailed to the cross. Or do you want to turn away? Because the turning away 
is instant death. You can't survive it for one second. The reason you are alive with all your mistakes and errors is this love of God. I will not turn away. I won't. So if God says I won't turn away, then you have a responsibility to make decisions. That Lord, you have to help me. Anything that makes me turn away from you, never again. So you love me this much. Oh, that time I messed up. That time I aborted. That time I went to sleep with somebody. That time I messed up. You didn't turn away. He didn't turn away. If you have turned away, you and I know your mistake will have wiped you off. You couldn't have survived it. You couldn't have survived that error, that mistake, that messy situation you found yourself some years past, that terrible error you committed and you thought you were dead and you came to a point where you are suicidal, that terrible mess you found yourself and you thought it was over with you. It was the love of God that enraptured you and held you together from blowing away into several pieces that can never be found again it was the love of god it was the love of jehovah an everlasting covenant with them i will not turn away from them to do them what i can't hear you to do them he said but i will put what my fear in their hearts that they too should not depart from me meaning that the same thing we read with the other place i will put my words in their heart i will put my fear in their heart because he said if you seek this word if you follow after this word if you seek wisdom in the book of proverbs he said then shall you understand the fear of the lord so when he says he will put his fear in you he's talking about his word inside of you and so what will make you not to depart is the attention you put on the word of god this is why you come to church regularly to hear god's word and that's why you come to church to hear to listen so that you keep on refilling your heart with god's word you keep on putting that word there are you following me here in the book of Genesis God said let there be light and there was what? there was light what is that light? several verses later the Bible says it made the greater light to rule by day and the lesser light to rule by night the greater light was the sun the lesser light was the moon the moon is a reflection of the sun greater light lesser light so what is the light when it's a light there have a light and there was light in john chapter one the light shined and darkness comprehended it not he said this is a light are you following me it's talking about it's, this is a light so it's the light that is talking about jesus in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and jesus christ said in john 17 sanctify them through thy truth thy word is the truth and the light shined in the darkness and darkness comprehended it not so the light here that is talking about is jesus and jesus is the word when he says let there be light it's talking about introducing jesus into the chaos of the situation and this same word is what has to be transported into your heart to ratify and make tangible the covenant we are talking about so every time I disobey this word and I drop this word 
I'm getting out of the corner. I'm walking away. I'm turning my back. I will put my word in their heart. That is the essence of the covenant. So when I disobey the word that has been put in my heart, guess what? I'm trying to turn back. And every time I turn back, I punish myself. I extricate myself from the benefits of the covenant. I exclude myself from the blessing and the favor. I bring myself into a place where the devil has access and there's sickness and disease and terminal diseases and emotional problems and all kinds of evils that you think of. And then you see God and say, God, why did you allow this? God said I will not turn my back from you. He didn't allow nothing. You turned your back on him. You did. I will not turn away from you to do you good. I won't. You are the one that turned away. In that covenant, there's everything you will ever need in your life. But every time you use your mouth and your words to come against the covenant, then you lose the benefit of the covenant. Yeah, I don't, I don't need a car now. What we need? I don't need a car. I don't need a car. I don't need a car. Yeah, you are cutting it off with your mouth. And because covenant is such that whatever you say, I respect. Whatever you say, I respect it. That's the covenant arrangement. Whatever you say, all right, it's okay. We can blame God for everything on this earth. God is never to be blamed. He said, I won't turn. Give me the message translation of Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 40. Jeremiah 32 and verse 40. Message Jeremiah 32 and verse 40. Look at what it says. Once more, I will make a covenant with them that we want. I didn't I can't hear you. A covenant to stick with them no matter what. No matter what, God said, I'm gonna stick with you and walk for their good. I'll fill their hearts with a deep respect for me so that they'll not even think of turning away from me. What will bring you to a place where you don't ever think of turning away from God is deep respect for God. And deep respect for God is deep respect for His Word. So when God says, flee fornication, flee, flee, run, run. You don't sit down there like an idiot. You don't sit down there and say, I can handle it. You're removing this clothes, I can handle it. You are breaking the covenant arrangement. Flee. That's what he says. Flee. Run. Don't put yourself in some impossible, nasty situations. First Corinthians 9 27. I put my body under. That's what the word says. I don't allow the word to come over. I don't allow the body to come over. So the body says, I want this, I want that. You tell the body, no way. And you quote the scripture to your body. The Bible says, I put the body under. I put you under right now. You think the body won't hear you? The body has ears and it has a voice. The Bible talks about the dictates of the flesh and the dictates of the spirit. Meaning that the flesh can dictate to you. People of God, you got to make up your mind, I'm not going to be a loser. Tell somebody beside you, I won't be a loser. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not going to be a loser. I will not. I will not. I will not. Hey, Maraneto Kate Kalibadi Kadi Baranto Shianda Tadika. Ina na 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 ba. Ela bala bala bala. 
Aremo shala baraba. Arabati tatika tika tika. Eh, the case of pray the Holy Ghost. Menta garis tehina. Gentaru shalosane. Bekaru shali barante. Nena nena. Ke kukaki. Gakuka kiga. Na ne 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 suze barata. Imbranesa, imbranesa. Iri bala 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 bali kadisa sisa. Ila baraga desa di barade dada. Jeremiah chapter thirty three and verse nineteen. Last scripture we are looking at. Jeremiah thirty three and verse nineteen. The Bible declares, KJV version says, and the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah saying, verse 20, Thus said the Lord, if you can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, that there should, be, there should not be day and night in their season, then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant. God is saying here that the covenant I've made with you that I won't turn away from you to do you good. I will never, I will never stop doing good to you. Will only be broken when my covenant with day is broken. That a time comes, there's no day again and there's no night. God said, I have a covenant that there will be day, night, day, night. And that is how it has been. He said, but if that covenant is broken, then be sure that the covenant I have it will be broken. And we know that that covenant will never be broken. There will always be day and there will always be night. Meaning that there is nothing. Come on, say there is nothing. Oh, I, I can't hear you. There is nothing that will ever break that covenant. Are you, are you, are you with me here? There is a scripture that comes to my mind right now. We'll read it and then we'll close. Romans chapter 8 verse 35 Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who is that person that will attempt to separate us from this covenant? What is that situation? What is that temptation? What is that pressure? What is that financial pressure? What is that emotional upheaval? What is that stress? The Bible says, Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for your sake we are killed all day long we are counted as sin for the slaughter. It says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Christ which is in Christ Jesus. That is the point you must get to people of God. And nothing. Come on, say nothing. No pressure. No financial pressure. Nothing. No situation will ever cause me to turn my back away from God. Give us message translation and then I round up from there. Romans 835, message translation. Listen to what it says. Stand up on your feet as we close. Oh, glory to God. He said, Do you think? Can we read it together? Can we read it together? One, two, go. Do you think? Anyone is going to be able to drive a wedge between us and Christ's love for us. There is no way, not trouble, not at times, not hatred, not hunger, not homelessness, not bullying threats, not backstabbing, not even the worst sins listed in scripture. They kill us in cold blood because they hate you. We are sitting dogs, they pick us one by one. None of this phases us because Jesus loves us. I am absolutely convinced that nothing, nothing living or dead, angelic or demonic, today or tomorrow, high or low, thinkable or unthinkable, absolutely nothing can get between us and God's love 
because of the way that Jesus our master has embraced us as Jesus embraced you people of God then you must come to a place where you make up your mind that from today there's nothing no sin no temptation no pressure no stress no guy no lady no boyfriend no girlfriend no man friend nobody will ever be able to separate me from the covenant nothing again I make up my mind from today I come into the place I enter into the covenant no distraction no temptation of the devil no trap no amount of money nothing will ever ever separate me from this covenant and from the love of God I make up my mind I declare by the help of the Holy Ghost I am committed to God just as God will not turn away from me I will not turn away from me I make up my mind today I stand with God I stand by God I declare in the name the Lord. I am not turning back. I am not going back. I am not losing out. I am not giving up. I am not passing out. God is my strength. I hold on to him. I hold on to the arms of the altar. I would never disappoint him one more time. I am not falling. And yet they say the righteous man falleth seven times. But the I'm rising up today. No more falling down. No more going back. No more giving up. No more, no more, not me. I make up my mind from today. It's a new day for me. It's the turning of a new day. I embrace the fullness of the covenant. I embrace the covenant that has been ratified. I embrace everything that the Lord I hold on to Jesus. I hold on to the Son of God. I hold on to the Holy Ghost. I hold on to the Holy Spirit. I am not going back. I come against that sin in my life. I come against that sexual sin. I come against masturbation. I come against pornography. I come against every distraction. I come against every plans of the devil. I come against every demon of perversion. I come against every demon behind lost. I come against every demon behind every form of destruction. I am not going down again. I make up my mind from today. I receive grace from above. I receive strength from heaven. I receive the power of God. No more going back. My mind is made up. And I'm saying like I was born. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. By covenant. By covenant. Irebosha. 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 
In Jesus' name we pray. We don't have much time, but I feel led to lay hands on a few people. If you know you are at a point where you need certain decisions to make, you, you feel you have turned back. It's not for everybody. You feel you have turned back, but you want to go back and start all the way again. I just want to pray for strength. Just come forward. This is not for everybody, please. It's a few people. Just come. I'm just going to pray for you and release the strength of God like never before. You will see strength flow into your being. Stay on the straight line. Lift up your two hands. And no more going back from today. No more. No more. Lakam baru shihande. Get me that anointing Lord, quickly. Lift your two hands and pray and pray. No more. No more. No more. The devil lost. The devil lost over your life. He thought he's going to have you, but no, no, no. He can't have you. He can't have you. He can't have you. He can't have you. You are returning to God. The gifting of God over your life is coming to reality. The grace of God is working for you like never before. The power of God is being shown in your life. Yes, 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 yes. I need the ushers behind these people very quickly. Embronosha, Embronosha. Hand in the course here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for delivering. Lift up your two hands. Thank you, Jesus. Permanent deliverance. Elebosha. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Deliverance. Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Wrong spirit. Lose your hold and lose your grip. Lose your grip. Never again. Embrenesha, 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 in the name of Jesus, Lidabosa, yes, 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 in the name of Jesus, lose your hold, lose your grip, in the name of Jesus, thank you Lord Jesus, it's a new day, I release the power of the Holy Ghost, Pastor Sophia, can you join me, let's pray together, lose your hold in the name of Jesus, a new day for you. Lose your hold and lose your grip in the name of Jesus. Lay hands on the shoulder. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a permanent deliverance for you. Every distraction removed. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Uh-huh. You are coming back into the covenant of God. It's a new day for you. Every power of hell is broken. Those demonic spirit loose. Loose, loose, loose in the name of Jesus. Men taka, loose taka. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. There's a coming back. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost. Let it be a new day. In the name of Jesus. Let it be a new day. Let it be a new day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let it be a new day. Let it be a new day. A new day. Lose your hold. Everything negative power that we lose your hold over this one. In the name of God. Receive. Receive. As a coming again. In the name of Jesus. Let it be a new day for you. A new day for you. In the name of God. It's a new day for you. Power of the Every power of hell is broken. It's a new day for you. for you. Every power of hell is broken. Let it be a new day for you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus, for the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, receive the freshness. In the name of hell. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day.
Hallelujah. I speak under the grace in this house over everybody under the sound of my voice. The God of this covenant will keep you strong in the name of Jesus. No more turning back on God. From today, you enter into the reality of the benefits of the covenant in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and appreciate God. Oh.